today I am making condensed milk taffy, condensed milk candy. This brings me back to my to my childhood memory. It makes me sing my nursery rhyme A B C D E F G. I remember eating this candy throughout my young life in Nigeria. My mom made it a couple of times, and probably my auntie that lived with us, and I have tried several times. Anytime I have small money, I experiment in the kitchen. So today, the protagonist of this uh, candy is the condensed milk. You see, I have two condensed milk for you. I bought it from GV, which is Walmart brand, you know. You're gonna need nutmeg powder and nutmeg itself, the fruits. For you don't know what my nutmeg look like. Water to taste the candy and two spoons of butter. Now I'm gonna go to my uh, my work and I'm putting my workstation. I, I'm putting two spoons of my butter, which needs to be melted. Now you have to swirl it around. You don't want to burn the butter. You want the butter to be melted by itself. It takes a while for the butter to melt, you know, and you want to do it on a slow to medium heat. After which you pour this condensed milk that I'm doing so. So this is going to require a lot of elbow grease because it hurts because you have to be fast and make sure that you mix it up and, and be careful while you're mixing this up because it gets burnt easily. You are cooking on moderate to high heat when you start the cooking. Once you you have to swill, like I said, you need a lot of elbow grease when making this condensed milk. You want to get the consistency of a taffy. Initially, when you start, like what I'm doing so, it's loose. It takes like 20 minutes to get it to taffy. Continuously mixing and mixing and mixing so like I'm doing so a lot of elbow grease after a while I got tired You know I had to turn it off and start again. There's a lot of work, but the end means it's fantastic So you mix it for like 20 minutes till you get the consistency of the taffy Once you get the consistency of the taffy, you want to put a little bit of oil on your board. You know, swirl it around, make sure everything is well smeared with oil because when I put the condensed milk taffy on it, so I do not glue to my chopping board. So I'm trying to smear all the oil on my, on my cutting board. Like I'm doing so. I'm pouring my taffy that I've made. Mind you, this is very hot. And you want to mold this before it gets too cold because it's harder. So I'm going to try to spread this a little bit so that I can get cold just a little bit so I can try to do it. You see I've oiled my my knife but yes it's still glowing to it. I'm using this big knife because I am using it to press down the the taffy and maneuvering probably to get a little bit cold faster. That's why I'm pressing it in and out because I want to get cold faster. 
depending on what you want now i'm going to use a knife to cut this into pieces it's a little bit cold now so i'm cutting this into pieces so i can mold it better so for this presentation i'm going to do it four ways the normal way is presented i would do a lot of that you know when i was younger they cut in a certain way that is presented so just for the presentation i will do it in four ways so this is so hard so hard you have to be careful no child should do this by themselves and adults have to be there so i'm cutting this into shapes and i'm going to start molding them so you see as i'm molding them this is so hard so hard i'm just trying to be brave it's trying so hard for this presentation just to teach or to show you what i'm doing it's so hard and if you let it be cold, too cold you cannot it's not malleable anymore so this should be done with an adult in the kitchen so i'm cutting it and making it straight so that i can cut into the shapes i want this is hard you can see me <laughs> it's hard it's hard if you have any other way that you do your taffy without handling it while it's hot, please let me know so I can do it easier. But this is the way I know how to do it. So I made it into a straight shape so I can cut it easily. Now I'm cutting into shapes. That's the way I know how to cut. This is what I saw in Nigeria growing up. I'm cutting into shape. Meanwhile, if you're watching me for the first time, please like my channel, subscribe, follow me on my social media. Your your votes, your subscription, your liking, your following help on my algorithm for my show and you should always validate that what i'm doing is is it brings value to you to your family to your life if you like this please share with other and interact with me for my old subscriber i say thank you and for the new one please join the yemi's kitchen channel it's so nice recreating my childhood experience taffy contest taffy is a beautiful thing some people will wrap it when it's in a nylon or saran wrap when we're in nigeria and we buy this after school we buy this it's one of the favorite things that you know most local stores we have this and it's, it's the local candy it's so delicious so delicious you know takes me back home i'm singing abcd i can't stop it abcdfd hijk mnlop i can't help myself so i'm doing this as fast as i can because if i don't do it fast this is going to it's hiding already you see me maneuvering it so i'm going to cut it so till i made the shape i i want to make So I'm making some straight and some sideways and some I'm twisting like I'm twisting it so just to give it a different shape.
So I've completed my taffy and the molding now for presentation and for it to, for it to be kept. I, you know, it's either you wrap it with cellophane uh, wrap. Some people do that when it's cold, but I'm going to put mine in a jar. This way I put it in my fridge and when I'm ready, but you can put it on room temperature too. When I'm ready, then I can get in my in my fridge and eat it. I know that once I take this to my family, I'll, you know, network. That's my group of Nigerian friends. They're going to enjoy this here. Anyway, just want to say thank you for staying with me and loving me. Please do not forget to share, like, follow on my, um, on my Facebook, TikTok, Yemi's Kitchen on IG, Yemi's Dust Kitchen on IG, YouTube, and all my social media thank you for all you do thank you for following me thank you for taking your time to look at my program but please interact like share and tell me if there's any better way i could have made it that's easier for me so because i got burnt a little bit don't forget happiness is a choice choose to be happy life is too short enjoy yourself and be true to yourself take it easy love you Chef Yemi, have a good day.